Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.5. Okay, so we have a hockey puck is traveling to the left with a velocity of V1 equals to 10 meters per second. What it, when it is struck by a hockey stick and given a velocity of V2 equal to 20 meters per second as shown. Determine the magnitude of the net impulse exerted by the hockey stick on the puck. The puck has a mass of 0.2 kilograms. All right, so they're giving us this diagram over here. So we have our hockey stick and we got this puck. So as they're saying, we have an initial velocity coming to the left. And then when it's struck, we're going to have a V2 velocity of 20 meters per second at an angle of 40 degrees. Okay. So the first thing I like to do in this problems first, just write out my given. So V1 is equal to uh, 10 meters per second. They're telling us that it's to the left. So I'm just going to draw a little arrow to the left. We are given that V2 is equal to 20 meters per second. And they're also giving us at an angle of 40 degrees. Okay. The last thing we're given that the mass is equal to 0 0.2 kilograms. So in order to solve this problem, well, we need to find the net impulse. Well, in this chapter, they're introducing the linear momentum and an impulse, the conservation of linear momentum and impulse, where basically is this big equation. However, in this case, we need to know what impulse meant. Well, the impulse is this entire summatory of the integral. Okay, so if we were to rearrange this equation into a more simple equation, well, the impulse I will be equal to the mass times the change in velocity. So we're going to follow that. And since we're going to need the change in velocity, and since the velocity is both of them have different directions, so I'm just going to decompose them into uh, x and y coordinates, and then we can uh, have the difference in this velocity, right? So let's just start by decomposing v1. So we got v1, the vector v11, is 10 meters per second to the left. So I'm going to give that negative 10 i. Okay, so it's kind of saying negative 10 in the x directions. The unit is meters per second. For velocity 2, we're given that the magnitude is 20. So the x component of this will be going to the right. And how much is that? Well, it will be... 20 multiplied by the cosine of this angle, which is 40 degrees, since it's going to the right, will be positive and in the i direction. Then we have plus 20, the magnitude multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees, since it's the um, y component, and we're going to give this a j for the y component. This will be the comp the the total vector for my velocity two, the units is in meters per second. Okay, so now I'm going to make this into numbers, just going to multiply those. So if we simplify that and utilizing my calculator, what do we get? So we need 20 cosine of 40 will give me a total of 15.32 in the i direction. Then we have plus 12 point eighty six in the j direction this is if we round up to two decimal points and we got meters per second so now we have v1 and we got v2 so what we can say is that my impulse is going to be equal to the mass well 0 0.2 kilograms given by the problem multiplied by the change in velocity so we're going to have v2 so this change can be written as v2 minus v1, okay? So we have v2, well, v2, we know it, 15.32 in the i direction plus 12.86 in the j direction, and then we have minus and v1. Well, v1 is negative 10 in the i direction, okay? So I'm gonna put a parenthesis just so we don't get confused. And this is the total change of velocity. So, we can go ahead and simplify this big bracket by first we're going to well this minus and this minus will become a positive so I'm going to 
check this out and put a positive in between. So we have an addition. So we're going to have 0 0.2 multiplied by, well, I have 15.32 plus 10, both of them in the i direction. So we have 25.32 in the i direction plus 12.86 in the j direction. And the last thing I could do is multiply this 0 0.2 by both of them. And if I do that, we're going to get a total of 5.06 in the i direction plus 2.57 in the j direction. Okay, now if we go back to the question, it's telling us that they want the net impulse, meaning that they will want the um, the magnitude of this impulse. So we're going to find the magnitude of this impulse. We're going to represent it by our uh, absolute value symbol. And in order to do that, we're going to do basically the square root of this 5.06 squared plus 2.57 squared. And if we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get a total of 5.67. And the units for impulse, well, it's going to be kilograms, right? So we had the kilograms. And then for this, we have velocity, which is meters per second. So we got times meters per second. Okay. Another type of unit that we can represent this, like that uh, impulse has, is basically newtons times seconds, which is technically the same units okay so this and this are the same and this will be our final answer for our problem so i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one